Life is good all this month at Appalachian Wireless. Get the LG G5 for just one penny with sign-up or renewal of a two-year service agreement. That's almost $100 off the regular price. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. Local emergency management officials say those who suffered damage in Wednesday's storms should report it so that information can be passed along to state officials. There's a lot of damage across the state and the state's trying to put together a declaration package to get a federal declaration and hopefully get assistance for individuals. And that's why we need those damage reports so we can roll those up to Frankfurt and they can take it on to the federal level. You know, we've had a few call in. Uh, obviously, during the storm, we took quite a few calls uh, on emergency nature and also just report damages. And we've been doing site surveys as well, just kind of driving around looking where these straight lines went through, trying to get addresses associated with the damage. But uh, we definitely have the need out there to get more damages reported so we can uh, get added into the totality of the, of the storm for the state. Straight line winds caused damage across the region yesterday, damaging numerous properties. We had uh, some homes damaged. We had a mobile home that was rolled over. Uh, some others uh, almost blown off their foundations. Uh, things of that nature, roof damage mostly on homes. We took uh, the, the brunt, it seems like, around the Hamley Athletic Complex, but uh, it's kind of widespread throughout the city. It does seem like we took a straight line wind event. Uh, we uh, had a spirit thunderstorm warning at the time. Uh, it hit really hard and really fast. Just a matter of a couple of minutes, uh, the reports started rolling into the 911 center. Now officials want to know what was damaged. Residents of Pikeville and Pike County can report damage to homes and commercial properties by calling either of the numbers on the screen. That request for reporting damage is not just limited to Pikeville and Pike County. Officials in Floyd County are also asking residents to report storm damage from Wednesday's storms. Pike Emergency Management Director Doug Tackett said anyone across the region or the state with damage should contact their local emergency management office. On Friday, just about 48 hours after Wednesday's storms rolled through, the state will conduct its annual statewide tornado drill. Officials in Pikeville and Pike County plan on taking part in the drill. The way we're going to be participating is we're going to set off our outdoor warning system. Uh, it'll be going off at 10.07 a.m. in conjunction with uh, pretty much every other alerting system across the state. Hopefully not only to test our system, but to also get out there and make people aware that tornadoes are prevalent in, in the state of Kentucky and give them an idea how to be prepared for it. We're going to use our Code Red system. We're going to send messages out across that with the uh, text messages, the mobile app, and uh, things of that nature. We won't do the voice calls, but we'll do all the other aspects of the Code Red. The statewide tornado drill will be held at 10.07 Friday morning. Reporting in Pikeville for EKB News, I'm Chris Anderson.